Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will share with you a profit update for the new Bitscap Scalper Grid Bots that I deployed just over a week ago. Now, if you're not familiar with Bitscap, it is an all-in-one crypto trading platform, but its real strength lies in its crypto trading bots, namely their Grid Bot. And if you're new to grid bots, you can actually deploy them via the demo trading platform before you actually submit them to live fire. And with that being said, you can get started for free. I will drop a link in the description down below. And if you use my link, you will actually get access to the pro account and all of its features during that free trial period. So that's enough jaw jacking. Let's get to the actual profits that the scalper grid bots were able to produce. But before we get too far into the weeds, if you're not familiar with how a grid bot actually works, a grid bot is made up of open limit buy and sell orders, which are typically represented in this case on Bitscap by the green lines and the red lines. The red lines are your open limit sell orders and the green lines would represent your open limit buy orders. And so with that being said, the way the grid bot actually operates is it will buy the dip down where you see the price come down. And each time it hits one of these green lines, it will execute one of the open limit buy orders. And so you're buying the price at a lower price on the way down. And then when the price rebounds and goes back up and starts hitting the red lines, it will execute limit sell orders for the profit. And even when the price is moving sideways, you can see this bot is buying these little dips and selling the little pumps back up for profit. And so you're even making money when the market is moving sideways. But the real money is made when the price dips and rips back up for that profit. And if we scroll down, you can see a few of the grid bots that I actually have deployed on Bitscap and the majority of them are scalper bots as that is their new bot that they just released in partnership with Qcoin. I did upload a complete how to set up one of these scalper grid bot videos so you might check out the playlist if you miss that video and with that being said if you miss that video you might want to shoot that subscribe button now so you don't miss future videos on configuration and deployment of grid bots or any type of trading bot for that matter. Now the scalper bot I deployed was on Matic USDT and as you can see that the bot profit for that particular scalper bot is only about 1.75% or $10 and if we pull up the actual details for this particular bot you can see I deployed the bot on November 15th today is November 23rd so the bot's been running for just over a week now. And the bot has produced only about $10 or 1.75% profit during that time frame, which equates to only 0.22% profit per day. But the scalper bots are extremely high frequency trading bots. And you can see this bot has had 9,400 trades in just over a week because the grid levels are very tight. So your profit is going to be very small per trade. And you might notice this green number here, the 7.69% under change. This is the actual profit, including bot profit, plus the increase in price or the change in price of Matic since I deployed this bot. So again, if we click on the details, we can see current funds and the current funds basically state your bot and the value change of the bot's funds plus bot profit and loss relative to initial funds in selected currency. So at the end of the day, don't get caught up on bot profit. You really need to focus on current funds. If this is a negative number, regardless if the bot profit is positive, you are in a negative position at that time. In this case, however, that number is a positive number and you can see my total PNL, which is what I actually care about. I really don't care about what the bot made. I want to know what my actual total P&L is, and that is 45.93. Now, if you did watch the setup video, we'll scroll down and you can see the actual bot profit that it makes when it hits one of those sell levels is extremely small. It's not even a penny. It's just shy of one penny. 
and that is because the grids are extremely tight and yes the fees are already taken out of this profit so the fees are less than your actual profit so the bot is profitable however these scalper bots are making a ton of trades and in my opinion bringing in pretty small profit but they can be utilized to help hedge a position you might otherwise go long in like Matic and most of these scalper bots I deployed I would have gone long on these positions anyway because of the way their price action was setting up and that's why most of them under the change section are much greater than the actual bot profit is the price action for these assets actually went up a lot faster than the bots were actually making profit now in this case I'm going to shut down this Matic grid bot and take my profit off the table because the profit in the change is a lot greater than the bot profit and I don't want to give that change profit away so I just click on the circle with the line through it which is basically your close and so now it will just confirm that I want to close out and I click confirm and you can see the bot has been canceled now because I did not select to actually sell my Matic position, I will have to go over onto my exchange and sell the Matic that I now hold that that bot had bought. So now I'll just click done. And with that, we'll take a look at Theta, which is another scalper bot I deployed around the same time frame. Again, you can see the bot profit is only around $9 or 2.52%. The daily profit is only 0.32%. It's a little more than what the Matic bot was doing. But you can see the actual change percent theta has gone up quite a bit. It's up almost 14% total of which 2.5% is bought profit. The rest is appreciation in the price. And so if we click over here on the details, we can again see bot profit of 2.5% or 9 USDT. But again, the total P&L, which is what I care about, is 52 USDT. And so with the appreciation in Theta's price since I deployed this bot, I am actually up a lot more than the bot has actually produced. And again, I am going to close this bot down and capture that profit because I want to lock in that price appreciation. If that was pure bot profit, I wouldn't be so concerned about closing it down, but it's price appreciation and I want to capture that before it slips back on me. So again, I come over here to the circle with the line through it. And this time, rather than clicking confirm with cancel all open orders, I am going to sell the 22 plus theta I hold at the market price. And that way I don't have to go over onto my exchange to do that one extra step of selling the theta. When I click confirm, it will go ahead and do it for me. And so I click confirm. And now the theta bot has been canceled and I can click done and you will want to make sure to check your exchange to make sure that it did actually close out those positions for in this case it'd be theta and I think that's pretty much it so I just wanted to do a quick video give you kind of an update on how the scalper bots actually perform they did produce profit for the most part the only one out of five that did not is my ADA bot but that is more due to ADA's price going down quite a bit since I deployed the bot and not so much the fact that the bot was underperforming. So if you like to see more videos on grid bot or bot trading in general, you might want to shoot that subscribe button. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section down below. I will drop a link to Bitscap in the description down below. And until next time, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.